Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about a few different things. So I'm gonna be talking only about new items. So like there have been, I feel like there's been so many new products and collections, um, especially for holiday, a lot of stuff coming out recently from different makeup companies. Um, some of this stuff I have used, some of it I haven't used, some of it has already become my favorite. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is from ColourPop. I always get really excited when ColourPop comes out with like a new product category because they go hard when they come out with something new. They don't just come out with like three colors or something. They have like an entire color wheel and color variation of like, they have a color for everything. And this time it's with cream gel liners and um, eye pencils like for your waterline. So here's the package I got from ColourPop and I was really excited. They always have really cool packaging but this one I thought was really amazing. So it has all the different gel liners in the little pots down here and then next to each one it has the corresponding color. So it has a matching pencil for gel liner. What is this? Neutrals. This is your neutral section. So I actually use these today. I don't know if you can tell on my eyeliner but I have some different eyeliner situation going on right now. It's kind of like a shimmery, coppery wing. So it's not as strong as like when I do like a really fierce black or really dark brown wing. I wanted to try something different with my liner. So I used, uh, I used this one. This is Show Me, which is a true copper. So I used that one on my wing today and it worked really great. The only problem I made was I actually put a different one on underneath it, which was, um, overboard but that one was too dark so I wanted to brighten it up so I layered another one on top of it and I noticed it kind of started like not crumbling it just wasn't taking as well um, but when I put the first color on it was really really nice very smooth and very creamy obviously if you're gonna keep layering on top of gel liner it's gonna get a little bit thick and not be able to handle it so that was my mistake but it still turned out really nice. I think it still looks good when I just layered it on top of it. So I am really excited about all these colors. I do wish, however, that they had a nude. I'm a little upset that there's no nude in it, especially for the waterline. So I have the neutral collection, and then I also have the colored box of liners, which as you can tell, is an insane amount of color in here. Um, so you have everything from white which is cool to have white, but I do wish there was a, a nude or like a tan, a light tan shade. Um, yellows, oranges, pinks. I'm, I really like that they have a lavender color. I think that one's really cool. It almost looks like a misty, misty color. Um, they have the forest green, turquoise. So that's something I'm excited about. I do want to start experimenting more with colors because I've been like stuck in this neutral phase lately. As you can tell, I feel like I've been doing the same neutral colored shadows every single day. But this makes me want to experiment and play with more colors, so really excited about it. I would definitely recommend these um, based on me using them today and the pencil the other day. So far, I really like the, the gel liner, but I will keep trying it out and I will report back to you guys how I feel about it. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is from Ofra Cosmetics, and this is their liquid lipstick, the one that they did in collaboration with Kathleen Lights, which I thought was so cool. Congrats, Kathleen. What I love about this one, first of all, the fact that it's called Miami Fever, I feel like that is a really cool name for it, um, especially because you live in Florida. I see you. But I just think it's a really unique color. It's not something that I would like think of. I don't know what it is. I just thought it was really cool. I think it's perfect for fall. And you know what's funny? When I was at Gen Beauty in New York, every single, there were so many people wearing this color and I could identify it right away. I knew exactly what they were wearing. I was like, you're wearing the Kathleen Lights color, aren't you? It's not a color that I would typically be drawn to, but when I saw it at Gen Beauty, so many people were wearing it and it looked good on so many different skin tones. I was really impressed by how amazing it was and I've heard nothing but good things about the Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, so here is the color right here. Oof. Super creamy. I love it. You know what, this might actually, I might be able to pull this off. And I just checked online, it's still available. I know it's sold out, but now it's back in stock. I think it's a really cool color, and it's Kathleen Lights, who is amazing. Thank you so much. Oh shit. All right, so the next product that I have is from Too Faced, and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons eyeshadow palette. I'm sure you guys know already, but Too Faced stays coming out with cute eyeshadow palettes. It is like their thing, it is their jam. They are all about cute shit, and I like that. So this is one of their new palettes, and this is called Chocolate Bonbons. Here's what it looks like right here. And of course, what would a Too Faced palette be if it didn't smell like chocolate? 
It smells so good. All right, so then you open it up and there are 16 eyeshadow shades in here and how cute is it? They're all in little heart shapes. Anyway, so there are 14 brand new shades and then two of these are not new shades. But I, I think Satin Sheets is not new, even though it's really, really pretty. That would be a really pretty highlight. And Divinity, is the, these are the only two that are not brand new, but every other color in here is brand new. A lot of times we see palettes come out and it's like, you feel like it's the same colors over and over and over again even though we all still buy it anyway. Um, but I really like some of the colors in here, like this Earl Grey one I think is really cool, very pretty. Um, it's like a, I don't know, it's got like iridescent greenish black reflects in it. I like this color, Cafe Ole. It's like a silvery, taupey silver color. I don't know, a lot of them just have really cool like taupey kind of undertones to it. Oh, and I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway of this palette. I'm gonna be doing it on Snapchat, so make sure you stay tuned on my Snapchat, it is Luster Lux on Snapchat, but it's spelled incorrectly. I don't want to talk about why I did that. Actually, I do real quick. Somebody already had Luster Lux the way I spell it on my YouTube channel. So I was just, I didn't even know I was going to like Snapchat at the time. I just decided to make an account and I just switched the E and the R. That is why that is my name on Snapchat. So it's spelled differently in case you're wondering. The person that has Luster Lux spelled the other way, they don't even post anything. I'm like, can you at least post something? You know what I mean? Let me live my life. Like, let me see what you're up to. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for five of these palettes on my Snapchat. I'm gonna be doing it the same way I do all my other giveaways with a Google document. Sometime this week or next week on Snapchat, I'm gonna be giving five of these away, which would be perfect crisp Christmas gifts for you or somebody else or for you. I support you either way, whatever you wanna do with it. Okay, next item I have is another eyeshadow palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made eyeshadow palette. All right, so the first thing I look at when I see this palette is the green color. Normally, I'm not very attracted to green colors. I gotta be totally honest with you, but I have been seeing people posting looks using this palette, and I see them using the green on the lid and mixing it with like sherbet and hot chocolate, and I can't believe how much I like it. I'm really tempted to try out this eyeshadow color just because of some of the pictures that I've seen. So it makes me wanna try out this green shade. It is really pretty. It's still, like I said, it's not something I would normally be attracted to, just because it's like a, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a green with like yellow reflects in it, but colors that I do love in here, hot chocolate. Everybody loves a warm, fudgy brown. I love this buttery color. This is something that I would stay putting on my lids at all times, underneath my brow bone, all over my face, everywhere. Um, and then they do have pink champagne in here, which has been in a few palettes, but I also really do love this color, especially um, if you put it on top of the MAC 24 hour extend eye base, which is my favorite eyeshadow base especially for shadows like this. I've just seen so many different looks with this palette that are so unexpected. It makes me really, really wanna play around with it some more. Okay, next thing I had to talk to you guys about is not makeup, but it's makeup brushes. I've talked to you about it in a few of my last videos and I'm gonna talk about it one more time. So these are new makeup brushes that I got a month or so ago and this is from the brand Smith Cosmetics. It's a fairly new, if I'm not mistaken, it's a fairly new brand but I cannot, Desi and I were just talking about it the other day when I was filming my mummy, glam mummy makeup tutorial. I was using like all Smith brushes. I, I can't even describe how amazing they are. It's like, you know, you guys know how I use a MAC 217 brush every single time I do my makeup. It's like, why do I even say it anymore? You already know what I'm using. But I feel like these brushes, it's like having several different variations of the MAC 217 brush, which is like everything I could ever ask for in a makeup brush. So I did pull together how many is this? Six of my favorite, favorite brushes. So the only thing I do have to say, they're kind of expensive. They're on the MAC price range as far as makeup brushes go. So this first one is the 232. This one's just really good for adding like a first transition color that you wanna use in your eyeshadow. And I gotta tell you, they're still really dirty. I haven't washed them since my mummy video. So they're kind of covered in like taupe and gray and black. Don't judge me, thank you. This one right here is the Smith 235 brush. So this one's a little bit more tapered and a little bit more flat, long, and narrow, I guess, than a 217. I'll just compare them to 217 so that makes it easier. But this one's really good at kind of sticking it right in the crease. If you wanna build up um, the outer edge a little bit more, it's just a really amazing blending brush. The next one I have is the 253 brush. So this is the one, when I first saw it, I was kinda like, 
eh, it's cool. But then when I really started using it, I was like, whoa, this brush is amazing. Really good for smudging on the lower lash line, really good for adding any detail work on the outer V of the eye. It just comes in handy for a lot of different areas. This one is the 230, and this one has a little bit more of a dome shape to it than a 217. It's a little bit more full, a little bit rounder, and it has more of a dome shape. So this one's really nice for adding like the second transition color. So in my shadow today, I have Fawn in the crease where I slowly started to deepen up the crease area. This one's just amazing. It's just the perfect size to fit right in the socket. You just really pop it in there. And then this one is probably, if I had to say any of them, if you only wanted to pick one, I would probably go with this one. This is 247. And this one, compared to a 217, it's a little bit shorter, so it makes the bristles a little bit more dense. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I would say. I'm like trying to find a way to describe it. Uh, this one's amazing. As you can see, it has dark eyeshadow on it because that's what I use on the outer V of the eye. Um, this is my favorite eyeshadow brush. I, I don't know, it's just freaking amazing. This is for sure my favorite one out of all of them. And the last one I wanted to show you is the 302. This one looks a little bit different. And what I like about this, it's actually different than pretty much any brush I've ever seen. It's like a, it looks like an angled brush, kind of like an eyebrow or just an angled liner brush, but it's a little bit thicker and it has more of a taper to it. This one's really great if you want to add black eyeshadow to the outer V of the eye or if you want to smoke it on the lower lash line, but you don't want to add too much product. Smith does have a ton more brushes, but I just wanted to narrow it down like my top, top, top eyeshadow brushes. Um, their face brushes are amazing, but these ones are just like, whoa. Slow down Smith Cosmetics. Okay, next thing I have to talk to you guys about are some new lip glosses that came out from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, I think it was like six to eight shades of new lip glosses that came out. I don't think I have all of them here. I'm not sure, but these are them. These are definitely more in like the fall category of lip glosses. I absolutely love the Anastasia lip glosses. They are amazing. So I guess I'll start with uh, the first one, which is my favorite actually, of all of the ABH glosses besides Gilded um, and Undressed, which are both nude shades. This is Butterscotch, which is really similar to Undressed, except I think Undressed has a little bit more like tan in it. It's more of like an actual nude shade. This one I feel like has a little bit more of like a neutrally kind of pink undertone to it. This color paired with Peach Stock, like get out of here. I'm done, drop the mic, yes. Give it to me. Um, and then there are these shades in the new series. We have Fudge, Warm Bronze, and Sepia. Oh, I know there's another one called Kristen. I don't know. But then there's these shades right here. These are more in like the mauve kind of brown town gloss shades. These, I think, look so good on other people. I tried wearing it. I tried to wear Kristen. I tried to wear Tara, and I think it just doesn't pop on me like it, these colors I feel like they just don't work with me kind of like how I feel about a lot of mauve pinky like mauve shade lips then there's these ones there's potion and dusty lilac which totally is like the extreme outlier of this collection of glosses just because it's like so um, it looks so springy in the tube but then when you put it on it does have a lot more kind of gray color in it hence the dusty part of the lilac but I think all these colors are cool. If you like the ABH glosses, these ones are amazing. And then there was also one... <laughs> there was a liquid lipstick that came out too, which was Candy Apple, which is what I'm wearing right now. Can you see? But I really like this one. It is a really pretty true red. I didn't notice it when I put it on earlier today, but I noticed it when I sat in front of the lights and looked in the monitor. There's a lot of reflection. It actually has some like gold if you look really closely in the tube, you can see it. It's got like some gold, I don't wanna say sparkle, shimmer in there. Okay, next palette I have to show you guys is from Urban Decay, and this is the Vice 4 palette. Urban Decay always gets me with their packaging. Like, I could just sit and stare at their packaging all day long. It is so amazing. So it comes in this little pouch right here, and then you have this package, which is so cool. I think a lot of Urban Decay products, I always used to ask for it for Christmas when I was younger. It was like the first I don't know, I guess you could say like big girl makeup brand that I wore. Um, I remember getting like oil slick for Christmas one year and it was like the best thing ever, which was like, it was black eyeshadow with like silver sparkles in it. But I always thought getting Urban Decay makeup for Christmas was so exciting just because the packaging was so like grand looking. I don't know what it was about it, but it was like one of my favorite things to get. And I can see their packaging is still 
crazy good. The thing that gets me, like what I used to like about Urban Decay shadows, the little specks of glitter in it is what I don't like about it now. It's actually the one thing that low key prevents me from using a lot of shades, but I love their matte eyeshadows. I use their matte shadows all the time. Their black blackout shadow is my favorite black of all time. But the one thing that turns me off about their shadows is when it has like the heavy chunky glitter in it. So when you open it up, you have amazing shades in here, 20 eyeshadows. I think these are all actually brand new colors. Looks like there are four shades in here that are completely matte and I really do like all of the matte shadows, especially this one right here called Bitter. Loving it. It kind of looks like the Kathleen Lights Ofra liquid lipstick with a little bit more brown in it. Loving that one. And then Flame right here, which is really cool, unique color. And I did just see a picture that uh, Nikki Tutorials posted last week where she used flame on her eyes. I was just like staring at the picture of her eyes. Like she looks so amazing. I mean, she always looks amazing, but I feel like this palette looked really good on her. Also, they have the palette with Gwen Stefani coming out, which that is like a really cool collab in itself. So I am definitely gonna be getting my hands on that. I cannot wait to see it. All right, and the last thing I have to talk to you guys about are the Makeup Geek. Well, Makeup Geek has come out with so much new stuff lately, but today I'm gonna talk about some of the new matte eyeshadows. So I have my two Makeup Geek palettes right here. Um, a lot of my daily Makeup Geek shadows are actually in what I like to call my life palette, my Z palette that has my, my I need these every single day or I'm gonna die eyeshadow palette. Um, so I have a lot of my go-to colors in there, but a lot of these are some of the new ones that I just recently got. Makeup Geek has so many amazing shadows, not even just matte, they have like satin shimmer, Foiled, which is also amazing, um, but they're matte shadows if you're like new to makeup, if you're not new to makeup. I don't care what it is, they're amazing. All right, so she came out with, I think it was 20 new shades of matte shadows a couple weeks ago, and I'm just gonna talk about a few of my favorite ones from the 20. Um, I wrote them down so I don't forget. So the first one is Americano. You know, I wanna describe them, but I'm not very good at it. So this one is, it crumbled. I was really sad about it, I had to clean it out. But here's Americano, it's kind of like that deep matte, brown, but it's got a little, it's got like a hint of burgundy in it, I'm pretty sure. Second one I wanted to show you is Morocco. This one is super, super buttery and creamy and blendable. This color is so pretty. This one is also very similar to the Kathleen Lights liquid lipstick. Do you see that? It's almost like a dupe for it. Pretty much anything that's like a burnt orange color, I'm gonna compare it to that Miami Fever liquid lipstick. Ruining my nails here, popping all these out. Third one is going to be Cherry Cola. And I was so excited. I think it was on her Snapchat or on one of her YouTube videos where she talked about, she was asking people to name the shadows for her. I think it was in a YouTube video, I can't remember. But I saw this eyeshadow and I was so excited for this one to come out because I feel like it was just something that was made for me. Cherry Cola is a really cool, and I never describe it right. I wanna say it's more of like a cool toned burgundy, I don't know. I like to go on the websites and read the descriptions of colors because they're always right. Okay, so one of the other ones I wanted to talk about is this one in the top corner. Um, and this one is called Mirage. And if I'm not mistaken, Mirage is actually in the Vegas Lights palette that came out last year. I'm like 99% sure it's the same color. If you're looking for like a creamy lid color that's really gonna make your eyes look really bright and wide and open, this one right here. Pack it all over the lid, OMG. Super buttery, really creamy, like pretty white beige color. If you want like a bright lid color without it being too white, this one's really good because it's got more of like a yellow undertone to it. And the other two colors I wanted to show you from the new collection of new matte shadows is this one which is called Bedrock and then this one which is called Concrete Jungle which are two, as you can tell, they're like gray, like straight up gray eyeshadows. I think this one is like a warm gray, right? I don't know, you guys know I always like to, I like to play around with cool tone shadows. I mean, typically I wear like a warmer neutral, but I, for the longest time, I love playing around with cool tones, especially grays. I would paint my whole face gray every once in a while if I could. I want gray hair, it's never gonna happen. I kissed that dream goodbye a long time ago. But here is the bedrock color. Really, really nice, pretty gray color. And then here is concrete jungle. Super pretty grays, they're really blendable. All right, so that wraps up um, all of the newness that I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Kinda got like news anchor vibes right now. Are you judging me right now, Joe? No. Okay.
America. So, just put it in my mouth. Um, but it has this really, so, and I really, my under eyes look like crocodile skin. Thank you, EF, for supporting me.